Hello students, welcome to exam week. In today's video, we will study about the topic plant nutrition, concepts related to it, as well as its MCQ. Now, this is the first part in which we will mainly discuss about nutrients, their criteria of essentiality, as well as their mobility in plants. In the upcoming part, that is the part 2 of this video, we will study about the major role of the nutrients as well as their deficiency and the deficiency symptoms. So, let's start with this question. Now, can you answer which of the following of these elements is moderately mobile in plants? Your options are zinc, Fe, calcium and magnesium. Among these, the moderately mobile element will be? Correct answer is zinc. If you find difficulty in solving this question, then by understanding the concepts that are discussed in this video, you will be able to solve the question within a minute. So, let's start with the concept. Now, what is mineral nutrient? Any inorganic ion which can be obtained from the soil and is mainly required for plant growth is known as a nutrient, a mineral nutrient. And the process of absorption and assimilation is known as mineral nutrient. There are some essential nutrients and the criteria that defines which nutrient is essential or not was first of all given by Arnold and Stout in the year 1939. This was also redefined by Arnon in the year 1954 and he said that for a nutrient to be essential in plant, the plant cannot complete its life cycle without it. This was the first criteria. He also said that the deficiency of one nutrient cannot be corrected by adding any other nutrient in the soil. That was the second criteria. And for the third one, he said that they must be directly involved in the metabolism. So, there are certain nutrients which are not essential but they can be said as beneficial. Now these are the nutrients which give certain added advantage and, are, and they do not fit into this the essentiality criteria which was earlier given by Arnon and Stout. They are required in very small amounts and that's why they are known as the potential micronutrients. Now there are two kinds that is macronutrients and micronutrients. If broadly we categorize the nutrients then they are classified into these two categories. And the functional nutrients and they were called functional nutrients first of all by Nicholas in the year 1961. These nutrients are mainly involved in metabolism directly or indirectly. So these functional nutrients mainly include the 17 essential nutrients as well as the 4 nutrients that were there that is the 4 beneficial nutrients. 17 essential nutrients are Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, iron, manganese, copper, boron, zinc, molybdenum, chlorine and nickel. These are the 17 essential nutrients. Among them, these three are the structural one. That is, they are mainly responsible for proper structure of plants. Also, here the carbon is mainly obtained from the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. And hydrogen or oxygen are mainly obtained in the form of water that is available in the soil. These are mainly responsible for the photosynthesis process. And these are the only elements which are non-mineral. Non-mineral elements. The rest of all are the mineral elements. Among them also, these six comes under the primary nutrients and and PK are required in major amount. Okay, so let's study about them. But before that, or you should also remember that for certain elements are important for certain crops, and these are like sodium is important for sugar beet and turnip, cobalt is important for legumes, silicon is important for rice and sugarcane, and vanadium is important for pepper. So we know that these elements are beneficial elements. Okay, why they are known as beneficial? Because they provide certain benefits, but as we have already studied, they do not fit in the criteria of essentiality. Now, this is the absorbed form of the mineral nutrients. Nitrogen can be absorbed in the form of ammonium ion as well as the nitrate ion. Mainly, it is absorbed in the form of nitrate ion and it exists in both the forms that is cationic and anionic. The phosphorus is mainly absorbed in the form of phosphate as well as phosphite ion. Now, 
In the case of alkaline soil, it is mainly absorbed in the form of phosphate and in H2PO4 minus form, it is mainly absorbed in acidic soil. Potassium, mainly absorbed in the form of cation that is K+, calcium in the form of Ca2+, magnesium, Mg2+, sulfur is in the form of sulfate. Iron exists in both the forms but the oxidized form is not absorbed. The, the reduced one that is Fe2 plus is absorbed readily. Means that is the main form in which the absorption of iron takes place. Manganese is present in the form of Mn2 plus in the soil and is absorbed in this form. Zinc Zn2 plus, copper Cu2 plus, boron in the form of boric acid, molybdenum in the form of molybdate iron and chlorine in the form of chloride that is the anionic form. The classification of nutrient based on requirement, there are certain structured nutrients which are required for the proper formation of a plant that is in its structure that is CHO which we have already discussed in which carbon is mainly required in maximum amount. That is a two classification that we were talking about earlier that is macronutrient and micronutrient is mainly on the presence of concentration that is if the concentration of nutrient is required more than 10 millimole per kg of dry meat matter then that is known as the macronutrient and among them also there are certain classification that is they are further classified into primary and secondary. The primary one are NPK and their uptake is more, deficiency is also more in the soil if they are uh, absent then their deficiency symptoms are also visible. They are applied primarily as the fertilizer as we all know that NPK is mainly applied as a form of fertilizer. Yes, the application of micronutrient is also essential. Now, the secondary macronutrients are that their uptake is less and nutrients are that their concentration is required is less than 10 millimole per kg of dry matter. They are not a part of organic structure or biomolecules and uptake requirement by plants are further like micro macronutrients are required in this form. That is, this is the importance of the macronutrients in oil seed sulfur is required more and in sugarcane potassium is required in more amount and micronutrient uptake is in this form that means for readily chloride then iron then manganese boron zinc copper nickel molybdenum are absorbed like this and molybdenum uptake is least so it is also known as the ultra micronutrient on the basis of mobility in the soil, they are further classified into three, mobile, less mobile and immobile. Now the mobile ions are nitrate, sulfate, fluoride, molybdate. These are all the anions. Less mobile are the cations that is Fe+, K+, Ca2+, Mg2+, Mn+, and NH4+, and immobile are H2PO4-, HPO42-, Zn2+, and Cu2+. Among the plants, the highly mobile ones are NPK, MGMO, moderately mobile is zinc, which we have asked in our first question that which of the element was moderate, moderately mobile in plants. So this will be the answer. The less mobile are iron, Mn, that is manganese, copper, sulfur and the remaining one and the immobile one is the calcium and boron. So do remember the immobile, highly mobile and moderately mobile. Then you will automatically answer the less mobile elements in the plant. Now let's study some more questions. Latest added nutrient to the list of essential nutrient is among this which one is the latest added that is earlier there were 16 essential nutrients then one one nutrient was added then they become 17. So which one is the latest one? So the correct answer is nickel. Next question is number of non-mineral nutrients is R. But which one of the following is the non-mineral nutrient? As we already know, it is CHO. So, how many num how many are they? They are three in number. So, the correct answer will be option number C. Nutrient absorbed in both ionic and cationic form. So, anionic and cationic. So, that is in the positive as well as the negative one. So, the among uh, these options, the correct answer is nitrogen. It is absorbed in the form of ammonium ion as well as nitrate ion. Next one is, which of the following is a functional nutrient? Sulfur, calcium, cobalt, or fluorine. The functional nutrient is among these, the answer will be option number C that is cobalt. Which of the following is moderately mobile in plants? As we have already discussed, 
the correct answer is zinc. If it is asked that which of the following is immobile, so do remember calcium and boron are immobile elements. If it is asked which of the following is readily mobile, then do remember NPK, MG, MO are readily or highly mobile. That's all. You can join our course NABAD Grade A. There is flat 50% off right now and you can avail this offer by using the code NAP50. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe our channel and to like the video if you like the content.